Hey everyone, Cardlin here, and we are back with Little Nightmares. I believe this is episode part four. I just couldn't keep away from this game. It's so intriguing. I've been thinking about the story all night, trying to figure out what happened, lamenting the loss of poor dear Francis, and uh, trying to figure out who that weird geisha lady is. So let's go try and find out, shall we? I am ooh, looking forward to this. So I think... Something about maybe she doesn't like the way she looks or something. That's why everybody's wearing masks and stuff, because she broke that mirror. There's a lot of eyeballs. It's a little freaky. Can you hear her singing, can you? Hmm. Okay, so we got a key over there, we got a chair, um, anything over here, nope, alright, they want me to go upstairs, so upstairs let's go, can we see past this door, nope, it's upstairs, oh, I'm freaked out, but I'm so freaking intrigued too, these pictures, there's a pig, there's a dog with a dress? What is this place? I think we're about to have some major story points revealed, y'all. There she is. There she is. Oh my god. The mirror is broken. little buddy on our desk. You just don't scream. Oh my god, this is done so well. She just hangs out and s sings in front of a broken mirror? What kind of crazy ass? Okay. Jeez, it's freaky as hell. Let's see if we can actually... Okay. I think it's saying the key is in that vase. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Look, it's me! Is that me? Is that yellow... Uh, that... Girl in the yellow... With the eyes crossed out. Is that me? Is that what I'm supposed to be or something? Here we go. Where'd she go? She's still there. There's another painting with a yellow dress. She stopped singing, but... Am I just supposed to believe that... Okay, clearly we're being set up for a scare here, so... I don't think there's anything I can do other than just get this shit and be out. Thoroughly scary. One second. I get too freaked out. One second, I messed up my sound a little bit. Sorry for that. A little technical error. Super professional here at uh, Carlton Casual. Let's pick back up. Okay, so we got our key. The sound is no longer messed up. Let's go, um, get killed, shall we? I'm gonna get the buddy statue. I've been doing it so far, I'm not going to leave that one behind. I got you, buddy. I set you free. Be free! Be free!
Is she in the closet? Is she in the closet? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? So she clearly knows I'm here. Oh my god. That's so scary. I think I'm that girl in the painting, y'all. One last thing. Hopefully that'll uh, make things go a little nicer for my video card, which is currently running a little hot. As y'all know, it's been a problem in the past. Oh boy. Oh crap! Shoot! That scared the crap out of me. That her? There she is. Hello, geisha lady. Geisha lady. Yeah! Oh, okay. I wonder if the Francis is terrified of me now because of what I did. I don't know if I prefer being chased by a chubby chubs or geisha lady. Teleporting Geisha Lady, Jesus. Was she right there? Cool, so um, any of these can be her. Another way to say that is she's probably all of these. There's nothing in this room, really? they're really going to give me such a big room and tell me there's nothing in here, I'll believe it, but let me search first. It's weird, you know, I've never, never seen geishas be so scary before. Is that an unbroken mirror? So maybe that's my weapon against her. She certainly prefers her mirror is broken. She's gonna be right there. I'm gonna fight her with a mirror. What's up, lady? Okay, okay, okay. Look at the mirror! Look at it! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Where's the next light? Where's the next light? Okay, 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 okay. Where are you? Where are you, lady? Mmm, take it! Look upon thine own face, and be shocked. This is... freaking awesome. <laughs> Ain't afraid of no ghosts. Center stage, okay. Ooh, that 
That was close. Are we? Is this the final boss? Uh oh, was kind of needed that. this game are you serious we're gonna eat her what is this thing your mask okay well let's go eat her you know what time it is Become her? What, what happens? I've eaten meat, I've eaten a rat, I've eaten a Francis. Now I've eaten the freaking final boss? Um. Did that imply she's gonna eat me? Tried hitting the uh, strike a match button. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Holy crap! I'm definitely not here to make friends. I am controlling this, by the way. Yeah, that's right. Come here. Give me your juice. Give me your yum-yums. I'm gonna take your yum-yums. And I'm gonna take your yum-yums. Yep, all your dark... yum-yum essence. Give it to me. Give it to me. You too, buddy. I'll kill everyone on this murder cruise. You too? You want some? Give me. Give me all that yum yums. Yeah. No, no running from this. It's yum yum time. Oh, you especially. You especially, huh? Oh, oh, you're trying to run. Don't run from me. You know what you did. You earned this. Full well. All of you did. You eating babies? You making me eat Francis's, huh? next? You're the big boy brothers? I'll eat them too. <coughs> there isn't a person alive whose yum yums I won't take. So I'm escaping to sunlight? The ladies' quarters. Did I just, like, become... Like a, a monster? Is this a story about the, the making of like an evil person? Uh oh. What's that sound? It's that evil clickety clacking. Can't control it anymore. Let the sunlight turn them yellow? Come on, Francis's. Let's go be go be safe. Come on, you can be yellow too. We'll all be like little murder buddies. What? Okay. Well, first off, that's a very short episode. Um. Second off, wow. Uh, 
amazing storytelling, you know, really light, really subtly done, but beautifully done as well. I, uh, wow, I can't, I can't remember the last time a game really pulled me in this deep, especially without dialogue, right? Without any, like, text or anything. I imagine this is exactly what people who beat Inside and Limbo felt. That ending, I think, okay, so I think she was the heroine, was somehow late? No, no. Maybe the, the girl in the dress was the geisha. Because why have paintings of the little chickadee, right? The little chickadee was just a, uh, a little Francis who thought differently. Um, broke free from her and decided to fight back. Decided to take it back for her people, maybe. She... Uh, I don't even know. Um, won freedom for her people, even if she had to sacrifice some in the way, along the way? Or maybe it was never about freeing the people. Maybe it was just about getting herself free. I mean, otherwise, why sack, why kill uh, Francis when there was a baby sausage right there that the Francis was offering, right? Oh my god, I can't... Oh, I can't summarize enough just how awesome this has been. Uh, thank you all. Thanks to Bandai Namco for this amazing game. Thank you all for being here. Thanks to the amazing Cardigan who got this game for me to play for y'all. Ah, oh, thanks for joining me on this journey. God, this amazing journey. I'm really excited to see if there's anything after the credits. I think there might be. I'm one of those people who, like, when I beat a game, I just, like, put the controller down, I don't touch it, and I don't let anybody touch it or anybody press any buttons if we're playing co-op or anything. Because you never know, like, you might skip something, skip a cutscene. And I know a lot of games have, like, put in measures to, like, work around that. But just in case, right? Because back in the day... Oh my god, I still remember being at Chuck E. Cheese with my cousin, and we were playing the Jurassic Park co-op arcade game, where, like, you're both in the car and you're shooting, and we finally beat it. And at the very end, he just, like, mashes the button to skip all the cutscenes to get to the part where he can put his name in. I'm like... What were we playing for if not for the ending? What is the point of going through this game if not to see the story? And he's like, oh no, it's been the, 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 the. And ever since then, I've been like a real stickler for endings and stuff. Wow. Which, you know, so, which some of you might find ironic since a lot of my audios don't have endings. Not endings that you may find sufficient anyway. I like the endings to all my audios. Oh my god. This is amazing. Right now, it's really just a matter of a, a race against time to see what'll end first, the credits or my computer's life. It's currently hovering at the same temperature, but it's 80 degrees Celsius, so that's pretty freaking high. Uh, 80 degrees Celsius in the graphics card, 62 degrees Celsius on the CPU. I'm in dire need of upgrading this rig. I just need to find some extra cache. Huh. But anyways, in the meantime, this has been amazing. The hell is... The hell is... Now the controls were pretty nice. I could tell that it was made in like... I don't know. If they told me, if somebody told me that this game was made in Unity, I'd believe it. The engine itself is pretty simple. Like, remarkably simple. It was all in the art style, it was all in the storytelling, it was all in the character modeling, the character animations, the plot. You know, this game is just extremely well done. I'm gonna say this is gonna be like the inside of 2017. I'd love to see another indie game rival this, beat it even, but. Right now, I, I can't see any other indie game just uh, reaching the level of, um, you know, that indie kind of mystique that this game really reached. Really? I have to go through all of Bandai Namco now? Alright. I used to work for Namco, actually. It's one of the first places I worked, uh, worked QA. It's nice music, nice score, too. You know, most of the times when I play a game, I actually don't, I turn the music down and I play with the, like, I listen to my own music, which may run or may not ruin the experience. Um, I normally don't like game scores, but this game had an amazing score, like the way 
whenever she was hungry and started playing na, 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 na. That was so haunting. That was freaky, but in the best way. Ah, it's just, I'm so happy with how this game turned out. Props to everyone who worked on this game. Props to everybody who came up with this game. Props to Bandai Namco for publishing it, you know? I wonder if, like, I missed any statues, or if something different happened because of the statues. I'm gonna go look that up, like, right after this. If I find anything different, I'll leave it in the comments after, like, a heavy spoiler tag. Wow. I knew one of the people's... That's cool. Wow. I recognize one of the names in the QA. That was awesome. That's pretty cool. Yoko Ono, huh? So we're free. We know that much. Or at least we're outside. We got to see the sunlight, possibly disembark. Why we were there, who we were. I mean, I think we were the meats. So who are the babies? Do the Francis's grow up to be babies? Because like the babies almost seemed like a third race, you know, like there was like the big the big folk that's a one race, and there was like the chickadees, like in the Fran like Chickadee and the Francis's, they were like another race. And then like the babies, like were they just like a lower class of the big folk? Or were they like an upper class of the chickadees? I'm so confused. I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be spending this whole afternoon just like looking up theories on the ending of this and like how it's all explained. I'm so glad I was able to beat it before, you know, like Markiplier and stuff because I've been, I like watching his videos, but I also like, um, I wanted, I wanted to, I didn't want to have the story spoiled for me, you know? I'm glad I was able to do this all naturally for the most part. skip, but all these people deserve credit. Oh, here we go. Pachion font. Huh. Pachion C. Here we go. If we're gonna get anything new, it's gonna happen now. Little nightmares. And... Don't tell me main menu. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're in a little lighthouse. It's me. You gotta move around? I can't move. Thank you for playing. We're free. We're on like a little island with a cannon? Smokestack? Alright, I'm pressing all the buttons to see if I can move around. Closing in? No. Here comes another boat. Does that mean it's gonna happen all over again? Wow, anything new under extras? Alright, I'm going to pause this for now. I'm gonna go look up stuff. Let's see if there's anything we can find. Okay? So sit tight, everybody. And I'm gonna go figure out if there's anything that can be figured out. This art is amazing. What? Is that what we're in? Like a giant... Oh, we're at the top of the ship. The turtle dome ship. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Missed. I didn't unlock this art. Oh, maybe every time I break a statue or something, I get a piece of concept art. All right, I'm gonna go look everything up, see what I missed, if anything, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey, everyone, Cardlin here. So I went online and I looked up everything, and apparently, 
if you get all the statues and you break them and you hug all the little dudes, the Francis's, uh, and you hug them, you unlock all the concept art, which we already saw most of. The last two pieces I'm not too worried about going back. Hi, Milo. So, um, turns out the story is there to be found online. Um, it's nowhere in the game. So, but we were pretty close. So, we're on a floating place called the Maw. And the Ma is like a place that the affluent can go to if they want to, uh, satisfy their, um, <laughs> Milo, uh, their more dark and sinful, del uh, appetites. And the appetites is kind of like literal in the sense that they eat children, which is what all those little children are. Now, the main character, this little person we're calling Chickadee, is actually named Six. It's not clear if Six is a gnome or a child. She's just, I think she's escaped, an escaped child. Um, it's also not clear if she's related to the lady, who is the geisha lady at the very end that we defeated. But, basically, she makes her way through, she gains more and more powers, and by the end, when she's like, killing all the people and escaping, it's basically the turnaround in the game is that she's the little nightmare, and that's what you've become by absorbing all these people. And you're, at the end, you're at the very top of the ship, and you're essentially free. Um... And then the little toot toot you hear at the end, I guess, is another ship of passengers coming aboard that you're going to just kill. Maybe you'll take their ship and go back to the mainland. I don't know. Who knows? But that's the, uh, that's the whole gist of the story. It's about, um, freedom and, uh, the darkness of what you have to do to get there sometimes. Thrilling. Just truly, a genuinely enchanting tale. I was really captivated the whole time. And I'm glad I was able to share the experience with you all. That's exactly why I made this channel. I wanted to play games with stories that I could have someone to share them with. And, uh, <laughs> share them with Milo, too. Um, so thanks for being here, everybody. And thanks for listening and thanks for watching. And, um, I guess I'll see you in the next game. I'll probably go uh, play some Zelda right now. <laughs> Alright. Take it easy. Cheers.